Hey, and welcome to another episode of Up Close. Today we are looking at... Oh, look, my fingernails. That's what we're looking at. <laughs> we are looking at the $1 bill. By the way, I need to clean those fingernails. When you get up close on things, you find uh, things are always a little dirtier than you always expect, and we'll get to explore that later on. But today we are just going to be looking at the $1 bill. I have it all the way zoomed out right now. But a couple features I want to discuss is the paper of a $1 bill is a little bit different and the printing is a little bit different. I'm going to slide over here a regular piece of cardstock with some computer printing on it. And you can see here it's using dots and that's kind of how inkjets work is it, it makes dots. And then you can see how it makes up colors using different colors of dots. Now the $1 bill is different it's there's no dots it's kind of almost painted on there and the paper is different it's more of a linen it's more like cloth than paper it still tears like paper it's a little more durable though than regular paper it has these little threads here throughout in random places and it prevents counterfeiting because if somebody looks up close you can tell it's made by the Federal Reserve if it has these features. This right here is something I was shown when I was younger. I was told it was a spider up in the top left corner of the one in the top right of the front of the bill. But I was told recently that it actually might be an owl and have some symbolism. What do you think? Leave a comment below if you think this is an owl or a spider or neither. Then at the bottom of the page, there's this other interesting design. It's kind of like a, it's more like a pyramid, but it's a similar design at the top. Let's take a look at George Washington, his face. You could see the eyes, the different colors in the background of the paper. The background behind him is has this square texture to it, which is real interesting. Get out your own dollar bill and take a look and see if you can tell that there are squares there. There's not a whole lot in the one dollar bill that's real cool. As we get into higher bills, there will be more. You can look at the back on the pyramid. There is a date in Roman numerals. Anybody know what date that is? M is 1,000. D is 500. C is 100, which is 200 there. So that's 1,700. And then L is 50, the two X's is 20, so that's 70, 1776. And here you can see the all-seeing eye up close. There's lots of cool things when you look them up close. Let me know what you think. Take a look at your $1 bill and see if you can see these features when you look real close. One thing that I want to show before we go is the eagle on the back. He's pretty cool. He has some interesting things. There's a Latin saying right here, which means of many, one. E pluribus is of many, and then unum is one. So it's like a being united thing. And then in his right talon, there's an olive branch, which represents peace. And then in his right, or his, his left, our right, he has 13 arrows, which represent the 13 colonies when the United States was founded in 1776. And they represent the war or the, their, the battle and the ability to fight for their freedom. So, uh, cool symbol. This is the seal of the United States. So there you have it. That's all we have to share about the $1 bill. But stay tuned. We'll look at other bills and other things. Check out this. Can you guess what this is? Leave your guess in the comment section below. Then find out next week. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more up-close videos.